detrimental effects of domestic violence. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Nacho Sinha, and today's video is another one in the series on domestic violence. In today's video, I will discuss the detrimental effects of domestic violence. Many people believe that domestic violence hurts the victim physically and affects the mental health only for a short period of time, but that is not the case. Surrounding domestic violence harms the victim's mental health more than the physical health and makes it difficult for the victim to overcome the trauma of the violence and move forward in life. So let's start discussing the effects of violence. I'll first start with the physical effects and then move on to the mental effects and bruises and injuries. One of the most common signs of domestic violence is bruises, scratches and marks on the victim's body. The abuser doesn't think twice before pushing, shoving or even hitting the victim when they're angry. Many victims cover up the bruise by wearing makeup or a dress that conceals the skin. Of course these bruises and injuries hurt the victim but it also makes them conscious in public. So for instance if a man or woman sustains injury to domestic violence, they will try their best to hide it or come up with different stories. And when out in public, all their focus will be on curing the injuries or finding a reason for it. This affects the victim's performance at work and relationships with friends and family. Plus, if the victim's children see the bruises and injuries, they are also impacted. The kids become distant and, and the family dynamics get disturbed. Moving on to the next physical effect of domestic violence. Fractures, paralysis and loss of senses. When domestic violence becomes severe, the physical damage to the victim exceeds bruises and minor injuries. The victim is terribly hurt by the abuser, which might result in fractures and other physical problems. Domestic violence isn't always visible as severe. It starts with emotional abuse and then threats to hurt and then occasional pushing and shoving when the abuser gets angry. But when the abuser apologizes and shifts the blame onto the victim by saying you made me do it, you are responsible for all of it. This pattern continues. The abuser hurts the victim, apologizes and promises to work on their behavior. And then again, they hurt the victim more severely. There are many horrific stories where the victims have shared how their abusers hurt them brutally. In one of the stories, the victim shared that her husband beat her and then flung her to the wall, resulting in a brain hemorrhage and losing her sense of smell. Another victim talks about how the partner shot her in the back over a heated argument. And because of that, they're at a risk of paralysis. So bruises and swollen faces aren't only physical effects of domestic violence. The victim can suffer from severe and irreversible damage. Moving to the third point, which is constant stress. Living with an abuser is not easy for the victim and others who witness the violence. For instance, the children who see their mother suffering from violence. The victim lives under constant fear and stress. They're afraid of doing or saying something that might upset the partner and resort to violence. This constant stress makes them anxious and affects their health and other areas of their life. They get headaches, stomachache, concentration issues, and so on. And this affects their performance at work, school, or other irregular chores. The fourth effect of domestic violence is depression. Being physically hurt under a lot of stress and anxiety leads the victim to develop signs of depression. Suppose the victim is not rescued from the violent environment. In that case, the depression will worsen to an extent where they will get suicidal thoughts. The victim feels unloved and pessimistic and they feel that they've lost hope. The only option that seems feasible to them is ending their life. At first, these thoughts might simply cross the victim's mind, but with time they'll become more recurring and the victim might act on it to free themselves from domestic violence. After suicidal thoughts, the victim can also get homicidal thoughts to the extreme hatred and rage towards the Abuser. Once again, these thoughts will be mild, but they would, or they could become intense. 
Repression suicidal and suicidal thoughts destroy a person's mental peace. It's like slow poisoning that eats the person slowly from inside. The fifth effect of domestic violence on the victim's mental health is sleep problems. A line of quality sleep is one of the requirements for a healthy mind and body. But domestic violence victims have problems getting deep and sound sleep. And this is primarily because of two reasons. Number one, when the victim is living with the abuser, the mind constantly fears that the abuser will hurt them again. This thought keeps the mind alert and hence they cannot sleep properly at night. Reason number two is that the victim overthinks and analyzes their situation. They try to figure out what he did it wrong to provoke the anger. This keeps them awake most of the night and as a result, they are unable to get proper sleep. Disturbed sleep, of course, triggers many health problems like lethargy, acidity, low blood pressure, poor appetite and so on and so forth. Another common problem that domestic violence victims battle with is recurring nightmares. Even the victim passed over the abuser, it took them a long time to overcome this trauma and get past these horrific experiences. The conscious mind accepts and understands that the abuser is no longer there to hurt. But the subconscious mind takes the victim to relive all the painful memories when they're sleeping. Nightmares are one of the major problems that victims have to deal with. And this problem is worse than kids who have dealt with sexual or physical abuse. These nightmares make the victim re-experience the trauma and robs them of pleasure of sleeping. Prolonged recurring episode of these nightmares it will also include physical health damage. And the low quality and disturbed sleep of night keeps them exhausted, irritated and unrested. And moving on to the next effect, which is low confidence. Violence and abuse combined with gaslighting and constant belittling shatters the person's confidence. A common characteristic of all abusers is that they blame the victim for the abuse. They will say things like, oh, this is all your fault. Oh, look what you made me do. Why do you force me to act like that? I'm not like this. You bring out the bad in me. These statements make the victim believe that this abuser is right and that the victim is the one at fault. He starts thinking that something is wrong with him and is incapable of looking after himself. These thoughts crumble the victim's confidence and self-esteem. And because of that, they start to question and doubt their judgment and options. The confidence issue stays with the victim even after getting out of that relationship. It takes them to time to revive their confidence and to trust themselves again. Domestic violence affects the victim not only physically but also mentally. It remains under constant fear, stress and anxiety. Moreover, in severe cases of abuse, the victim might just in fractures, disability, paralysis or even death. So, please do not turn your back on domestic violence victims. We will extend them with unreserved support to free them from the tyranny of the abuser. Another piece of advice is to, when you witness domestic violence, immediately call the local police. Do not question yourself whether it's somebody's personal matter or not. Calling the police might save the victim's life or get them some help that they need. We'll see you next time with another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you.